Hello my dear friends, welcome to my channel that is learning and programming with Chetan. Friends, in this particular video, we will going to discuss about wrapper classes in Java programming language. Along with that, we will also discuss about auto boxing and unboxing in Java. And we will also see that how easily we can create our own wrapper classes. So let us first discuss about the need of wrapper classes in Java programming language. Friends, as we all know that Java is object oriented programming language, which means that for performing all the operations in Java, we need objects. But friends, Java is 99.9% .9 object oriented and that 0.1% is because of the primitive data types. So we need certain mechanism by the help of which we can easily convert primitive into objects and objects into primitive. So that mechanism is the wrapper classes by the help of which we can easily convert primitive data types into objects and objects into primitives. And as the word suggests wrapper, which means that wrapper classes is used to wrap primitive data types. Let us try to understand about the need of wrapper classes in performing various operations in Java. So if we talk about serialization in Java, then serialization is a process of converting objects into streams. So in the process of serialization, we have to deal with objects. Now let us discuss about our next point which is synchronization in multithreading. So friends as we all know that in synchronization we acquire locks on object. So here again we need objects and that generates the need of wrapper classes. And if we talk about java.util package then all the utility classes which is present inside this package operates on objects. And if we talk about collections framework, then the data structures which we used in collection frameworks operates on objects, whether it is an array list, link list, set or map. So the complete collection framework operates on object. That is why we need wrapper classes so that we can easily convert primitive data types into objects and objects into primitive data types. Now let us discuss about various wrapper classes. So there are total 8 wrapper classes in Java which is present inside java.lang package. So friends here you can see that these are the primitive data types and corresponding to each primitive data type we are having wrapper classes. So for dealing with key data type we are having character wrapper class. Then for dealing with numbers we are having integer, byte, short and long wrapper class and for dealing with decimal numbers we are having float and double and for boolean values we are having boolean wrapper class. So these are the 8 wrapper classes which is present in java.lang package. Now let us discuss about auto boxing and unboxing in Java programming language. So if we talk about auto boxing then it is an automatic conversion of primitive data types into objects. Here you can see that all the primitive data types can be automatically converted into their corresponding wrapper classes or objects. So in auto boxing process the primitive data types can be automatically converted into their corresponding wrapper classes. And if we talk about unboxing then it is an automatic conversion of wrapper classes into primitive data types. So here you can see that in case of unboxing the wrapper classes can be automatically converted into their corresponding primitive data types. Now friends we will discuss about the programmatic implementation of wrapper classes auto boxing and unboxing. So here you can see that I have created one class with the name wrapper class and inside a wrapper class I have created one main method. And inside this main method we will try to understand about the concept of wrapper classes, auto boxing and unboxing. So here in this statement I have created one variable with the name number and it is of int type and I have assigned its value as 100. Now let us first see that how we can explicitly convert int data type into integer object. So in this statement I am creating an object with a reference variable name as numobject1 and here we are explicitly converting a number variable into integer object by using value of method and here I am simply printing the value of our integer object. So friends this was the approach which we used to follow for converting primitive into objects before java 5 version but from java 5 version auto boxing and unboxing feature was introduced. So now there is no need of explicitly converting the primitive data types into objects and we can easily convert our primitive into objects. So here in this statement you can see that we are directly assigning our number variable field into our integer reference variable. So this process of converting primitive into objects is known as auto boxing. 
so when we will compile our file then at compile time our compiler will automatically convert this statement into this statement and in this statement i am simply printing the value of our integer field now let us discuss about the practical implementation of unboxing in java programming language so unboxing is an automatic conversion of objects into primitives so here in this statement i have created an object of character type now let us first discuss that how we can explicitly convert our character into primitive so here i have created one variable with the name care primitive and here you can see that i am using the care value method of our character wrapper class to get the primitive value from our character object and here i am simply printing the value of our character field but from java 5 version there is no need of explicitly converting an object into primitive and we can directly assign the value of our object to primitive data type so here in this statement you can see that we are directly assigning our character object to our primitive data type and when we will compile our code then at compile time our compiler will automatically convert this statement into this statement now let us try to understand about auto boxing and unboxing by the help of one more example so here i have created one method with the name check odd even and this method is accepting one parameter which is of int type and inside this method we are checking whether the value which we are passing to our method is even or odd so friends in this statement we are directly assigning an primitive value to our integer object and this is because of the concept of auto boxing and in this statement i am calling our odd even method and here you can see that i am passing our integer object but if you notice here then you can see that our method is accepting the value of int primitive data type and here we are passing an object of integer type so this concept is known as unboxing by the help of which our compiler will internally convert integer object into primitive data type now let's run our program so friends in our console you can see that we are getting an output and we are not getting any runtime error so in this statement we have explicitly converted our primitive data type into integer wrapper class and this is the output we are getting in our console and here we have used an auto boxing feature to convert our primitive into object so we are getting our output in console and here in this statement we have explicitly converted our object into primitive so this is the output which we are getting in our console and here we have used an unboxing feature to automatically convert our object into primitive so this is the output which we are getting in our console and friends in this statement we have used an auto boxing and unboxing feature to check whether the number which we are passing to our method is odd or even so here in our console you can see that we are getting an output and our method is generating a correct result that is 2 is even number and 5 is odd number so friends i hope that you are able to understand about the practical implementation of wrapper classes auto boxing and unboxing now we will see that how we can create our own wrapper class so friends as we all know that wrapper classes is used to wrap primitive data types so here i have created one class with the name custom wrapper class and we are using this class to wrap primitive data type of care type so for creating our custom wrapper class i have created one private field with the name care value and it is of care primitive data type and here i have created an parameterize constructor for performing the boxing operation so inside our parameterize constructor i am assigning the value to our instance variable and here i have created an getter and setter method so we need this getter method to perform an unboxing operation and i have also overrided and to string method and inside this method i am returning the string value of our instance variable and friends to test our custom wrapper class i have created one test class with the name test custom wrapper and inside our wrapper class i have created one main method so in this statement i am creating a variable of care type and here in this statement i am creating an object of our custom wrapper class and inside our parameterize constructor i am passing the primitive data type value so here we are explicitly performing the boxing operation in which we are passing the primitive data type value to our wrapper class and here i am printing the value of our wrapper class object so from this statement it will call the to string method which we have overrided inside our custom wrapper class and it will return the value of our instance variable and in this statement we are performing an unboxing operation by using a get care method which we have defined inside a custom wrapper class so here we are assigning the value of an object to primitive data type so this is an unboxing process 
now let me run our program so friends here you can see that we are getting our output and we are not getting any runtime error so this is how we can simply create our own custom wrapper class and if you are still having any doubts then you can ask your queries in comment section